Yeah, my name is Sasha, and I'm uh, in charge of um, so-called service provider relationship in EMEA, which is uh, Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Um, and I will actually lead you through, uh, through a journey that calls 5G for Business. Um, and I will actually show you how you can create a service for your customer, for your partner, um, which is based on 5G wireless technology. But first of all, <clears throat> a little bit of history. So Cradle Point is now Ericsson. You can see it also on my shirt. So we are part of Ericsson. Ericsson acquired Cradle Point um, a while ago. And the reason for that is that we have the 5G Edge technology. What means 5G Edge, te edge technology? Um, <clears throat> that, that will be actually this, uh, explained later in the presentation, but it's all about enterprise 5G. So you see a couple of, of uh, buckets here. Uh, like wireless van, um, private cellular networks, and enterprise 5G. So Cradle Point is all about end-to-end uh, -end solution in the future, together with Ericsson. That means we call that from the edge to the core. So you will have actually a chance to do a 5G service, which is not only on the endpoint, but is actually covering the entire value chain. But going a little bit deeper into our stack, so. Um, to give you a little bit of impression about Cradle Point, um, we have different um, segments here. The blue one is actually all about our customer base. So Cradle Point is acting uh, globally, and we have big customers in retail, finance, construction, kiosk. Can, you can actually read that. Uh, we have around about 28,000 customers globally, um, and you see that we have about 2.5 million active subscriptions in the market. So we are a decent player in uh, the so-called wireless van technology. Uh, on the other hand, you see our industrial partner, and we will come to that point also later. Of course, Ericsson is a big industrial partner. It's our mothership, but also a partner from private cellular networks and, uh, and from networks in, in, in general. Uh, but we have also industrial partners which are going into security, um, into cloud and hosting, uh, in, into, you know, you, you, you name it. So Fleet Complete is, for instance, uh, providing a complete fleet management uh, capability, which is actually hooked in our device or in our solution. Uh, the lower part, which is now actually spot on for this show here, is um, the entire service provider partnership. So we as Credit Point have a very, very strong relationship to service provider. You see a couple of service providers here, but those are just the big ones. We have, of course, many, many others which are local, and, uh, and those are actually not fitting here on, on this, on this, uh, on this slides. But what we do is actually, we, we have our product, our solution, and any of our solution is a SIM card. So we do the wireless van. And the SIM card means there's always a service provider engaged. Um, and not only for connectivity, but also for managed service. So that's why it's actually a, an entire ecosystem. So we're not talking about connectivity, but we're also talking about service, providing service on top of our devices. And that will be actually part of um, the next slide. So what is, about, what is the solution from Cradle Point? So you, you might have some question marks uh, in your, on, 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 on your mind. So what, what is this guy trying to, to, to explain here? So what we define a solution is actually based on three uh, major parts. One part you can see on the right hand, um, this is uh, our so-called endpoint. It's, it's a router. It's a, it's a tailor-fit router for vehicle, for IoT, for branch. Sometimes it's only an adapter. Sometimes it's a fully ruggedized uh, mobile device with all the certification you need for, uh, for explosive areas, etc., etc. On the other hand, uh, we have the so-called net cloud manager because a router in the field is just, uh, it's just a device. And many, many people sell routers, but we do not sell routers, we sell a solution. You can actually um, get a complete stack of solution. That means the cloud manager, this is managing the router, is actually re responsible for provisioning, controlling, monitoring, analyzing, and also from integration point of view because we partner with a bunch of partners, uh, with a bunch of um, uh, big brands in the in the field, and you can see a couple of them underneath. So uh, when we talk about security, uh, we, we talk to the best, right? So we are not developing our own firewall. We actually go to Trend Micro and say, well, let's build a, a firewall into our device. Um, and we do the same for Palo Alto, Juniper, for Zscale, etc. So in the end, you have a solution in your hand that you can actually take and, and provide um, a service to your customer. You can actually take it and do a managed service based on Cradle Point. 
So because we take care about uh, the entire cloud management platform, you will get, get all the analysis, uh, analytics um, from, from, uh, from our cloud manager, et cetera, et cetera. So you can actually build that. And on top of that, you will not only get uh, the stack and the solution, you will also get support, you will get um, education, and, um, and the entire team, which is actually, uh, uh, we are part of Ericsson, so we are pretty, pretty decent um, staffed in, uh, in any region. So there, there's lots of horsepower behind that we can provide to you. And if there's any question, please just uh, shout. And we have a translator as well. Uh, to, to get you a little bit more flavor of uh, our, our devices. So, um, I said, it's IoT, it's mobility, it's branch. So, for instance, uh, on, on this fixed site, Resilience, we have many, many, many customers, quick start restaurants, uh, uh, you name it, bank, finance, ATMs, whatever. Uh, they actually require um, resilience. So, not a copper line is not enough. So, they really, they really want to have 5G failover. They want to use 5G for day one internet. They want to use 5G to maybe bridge the service before they actually can deploy fiber. Uh, and that's what you can do with our solution. And you can also put actually our NetCloud Manager into an API context. That means you go into our device manager and you can, you can read and write anything from our cloud. That means you can actually use your own system, your own managed service environment, and you can manage the endpoints through your system, through the APIs into our cloud manager. So we do this uh, actually every day, these kind of integrations um, into third parties and yeah, service providers. Um, give me just a snapshot of, uh, of what we have done so far. So I just take one or the other. So there's, for instance, the Verizon in the US. We just uh, announced that we have one million Cradle Point routers actually active in the network. Uh, and we do the similar stuff with AT&T. We have actually a big relationship with BT and some stuff also in the North American market, just to give you an understanding how, how um, or what kind of partners we do have. Uh, why Cradle Point and what, is, what, what you can actually address as a service provider or as a partner or as a, as a solution um, uh, provider. So what we do is actually, uh, we, we do different kind of applications. So we are very strong in blue light. Um, everything which is mobile um, is a sweet spot for us because in any uh, ambulance, in any fire truck, in any police car, there is 5G connectivity absolutely required in the future. In any bus, taxi, Uber, you have every, everywhere uh, 5G. And what we do is actually we provide this high resilience 5G as an endpoint, but we give you all the capabilities to actually manage this endpoint as I explained before. Um, the same, it, it's just highlighted a couple of uh, use cases. Uh, we do the same in digital signage. In the internet of things, you can imagine that uh, one of our huge customers is, is a provider of, of, of goods and they send the goods actually to their end customer and they, are, they have a, a kind of a locker concept. So yeah, they will actually send it to a locker and then you need to go to the locker and actually pull out your devices out of the locker. Uh, and that's what we do actually. We connect these big lockers, not one, not two, but ten thousands of these lockers um, through our cloud manager into, um, into a full managed service. Um, actually, I will jump on one or the other case right now to give you a little bit more insight. I think mobility is one uh, w which is actually spot on because it's very obvious. So you cannot put a cable into a bus uh, and, and, and just connect the bus. So 5G is absolutely mandatory. Um, so th that's why all this kind of public transportation, police, fleet, this is something uh, you really can say that this is a sweet spot from, from Cradle Point. Um, what is actually connected, you, you would actually be surprised what is connected in the bus. There are up to 20 cameras. Uh, in, in the UK, we have one project. There are even cameras on each wheel because people uh, attempt to put their foot under the wheel and then they will claim actually money from the insurance that the bus was not taking care of, of them and actually uh, damaged um, uh, or hurt them. So they, will, they, have dash, they have these kind of dash cams everywhere. Um, so we have digital signage in the bus. We have different sensors, and since COVID, we have actually counting sensors. We have, uh, we have uh, air condition sensors in buses uh, to give actually an air quality kind of indication, and so on. Everything is connected, and everybody needs internet. So that's actually the mobility part. From um, branch point of view, so that, that's actually super interesting when you have uh, 
uh, customers uh, in the branch, pop-up network, um, or in a dedicated network kind of uh, scale. So this is a trend. So it, it is actually not enough to be connected. It's, it is uh, actually the trend to be double connected, right? You need link resiliency. So you need to have a failover, and the failover is not a copper, it's usually a wireless, because you need kind of a, a, a different medium for that. Um, doing that, so many, many retailers and fast food restaurants, etc., just use Cradle Point um, as a resilience. Uh, you can also think about connecting first for via 5G, and then you use that later on as a, as a failover. So you, you, you connect for 5G, the customer is waiting for a landline, maybe three, four, five, sometimes up to nine months, um, and then you can actually swap to, uh, to 5G as failover and use your landline as a kind of mandatory or as, uh, as a primary. So, um, right, so also from use case point of view, I think it's very obvious. Um, uh, very interesting is that the sensors and branch is actually a very big trend. So a branch is not only a branch because you connect the branch because of of, of um, your cash machine or your point of sale is connected. A branch is also a, is, is a grail of IoT. So um, it, it's from Bluetooth beacon over, uh, over, over marketing uh, activities. So everything what you actually need in the branch, um, uh, can you connect over a credit point device? Another one is uh, private networks. Um, and private networks, from our point of view, uh, a network is a network. It's private, it's, it's public, it's hybrid, we don't care. We can actually talk to any of those. It's a standalone, it's a non-standalone, or it's, it's kind of hybrid. Uh, and, and this is an example from, uh, from Canada. This is a truck which has a height of 10 meters, and there's a downtime. So if the truck fails, uh, the downtime costs about $100,000 an hour. And that means the truck is running 724. There's no way to get this truck actually uh, only for, for getting fuel into the truck, this truck will park. Otherwise, it will just continue. And that's why you need to connect this truck in a, in a highly resilient way. So there's actually two, two modems, and these two modems controlling actually the fuel, uh, the, tier, the tire pressure, um, and, uh, and much, much more on the truck uh, to get actually this truck running and doing maintenance uh, or doing predictive maintenance. So they know that something is going on before it actually appears. And of course, with the friends from Ericsson, they actually built the private network for this kind of um, uh, use case. So that means um, um, th this is actually an Ericsson private network, and we play as a kind of edge device in that network. And in the future, I, I showed you the, uh, our, our buckets, our joint proposition um, buckets. So we will have kind of end-to-end -end, um, manageable or an, and and end-to-end um, -end kind of, um, you know, you, we actually know the entire stack from, from the edge, from the truck, until um, the network. So this is actually my favorite use case, and which, uh, which is um, giving, giving you a very good understanding about what we are doing, or how we are changing, actually, the technology, the, um, the industry, because Taylor Construction changed completely their business case. So, uh, in the old world, Taylor Construction was building a house based on 2D blueprints. So there was a kind of paper, and they built the house, and they were actually need to imagine what kind of problem might appear based on the plans they had developed. But now, they have actually VR glasses. They have actually, the, the, this, uh, this, the construction site is completely covered by 5G from a private network point of view, and they walk through this field, through the construction site, and they can see the building or the next step of the building already through the VR glasses. And they can see a problem before a problem actually appears, which is uh, based on, on this kind of um, uh, plan they are created in advance. So that means um, there will actually, there's a huge cost saving for Taylor to see or to, to avoid problems that might appear. Uh, and this, this is just one example of 5G um, actually changing a complete industry in terms of um, uh, capability. All right, this is my last slide, which is a very good uh, <laughs> timing, thank you. Uh, my last slide is just uh, to repeat why Cradle Point. Uh, why Cradle Point, why Ericsson. So you, you can see this is actually, uh, we, we give you an opportunity to, to go into a market which 
it's a high growth market. And there are not so many high growth markets, but the wireless van market is a huge market. Uh, from private cellular network point of view, but also from public and from, uh, from, from the industry I just highlighted. So we provide you actually the entire kind of cloud stack to manage the device and for you to build a service based on our, uh, on our service. Um, furthermore, this is a, it's a subscription model and that's why it's a very high ARPU for you. So um, what you can imagine is, uh, um, it's uh, an ARPU which is uh, w really interesting uh, based on your, on, your, on your business cases. And uh, of course, it's very service rich um, and um, that means you, you can actually wrap quite a bit of stuff around this service to, to uh, approach to your customer or to even open new um, business ideas. And that is, uh, that's my end of the presentation. <laughs>